at the end of this video I hope you will be able to learn how you can flash some LEDs with the big microcontroller. But of course if you don't have any development systems right now uh, by your side you can simulate these projects in a, pro uh, in a program called Proteus. So here is the uh, PIC microcontroller I'm using, it's PIC 16F887. It has 35 input and output ports and uh, it has five, uh, basically five re uh, registers that you can use as uh, input or output. Unfortunately, it do not all of them are 8-bit long. Um, a port, um, register A, register B, register C and D are 8-bit long. But as you can see here, I already, already use a crystal oscillator uh, for the microcontroller. So this oscillator over here is just used uh, to determine what is the frequency of the microcontroller. So what this uh, OSC1 and OSC2 is basically used for an external oscillator. Uh, PIC microcontroller here, or again in general, have internal oscillators that you can use. So if you want to use all the outputs and inputs of the port A, you have to use the internal oscillator. So in this project, I only used uh, register B, register C and register D and here is the simulation of the LED blinking from uh, the beginning of the video. So one second uh, port B is uh, flashing, one second port C and one second port D. Sorry my uh, uh, CPU is a little bit uh, slower but it does the job. So let's go to the book that I showed you in my previous video, Big Microcontrols Programming in C. I hope you read this book, so it would be a lot easier for you to program Big Microcontrollers in C. What do I have to open over here is the input and output ports first. Now, uh, as you can see here, I can configure uh, inputs and outputs of the big microcontroller so in this video I'm going to use them to flash some LEDs now there are five as I said input and output pins and um, ports and there some of them are 8 bit long and unfortunately register E isn't 8 bit long it is but it is used for something else for uh, for the as you can see RE3 here is used so it could be powered by an external power supply okay now if you want to configure uh, these uh, registers B C and D as in this project there are some rules you have to follow now every microcontroller has a trace and a port register trace register uh, is a register, it can be trace A, trace B, trace, trace A, trace B, trace C and trace uh, D and D uh, is a register that configures the register as an input uh, or as an output. So if I want my uh, register uh, B to be as an output, what I have to do in my code is to uh, say that trace b is equal to zero or you can write x zero x zero zero i'm gonna come to this a little bit later of, of course these fonts isn't aren't this large i just uh, zoomed in so you can see a lot better so and if i want my port register c and register d over here to configure them as an out as an output i have to write down i have to configure them trace uh, trice c and trice d as are equal to zero so this is decimal zero and this is hexadecimal zero i'm gonna come that a little bit later but what is ansel and ansel h uh, not all p 
big microcontrollers have Ansel and Ansel H registers, but this particular has uh, has Ansel and Ansel H registers. So uh, Ansel and Ansel H registers are register are registers that are used to configure the input mode of an uh, input output pin to analog or digital. So here uh, in port uh, register A after RA0 I have something that is uh, called I have something here that spells A and 0 so this uh, pins that have this A and 12 A and 10 A and A and 9 11 13 here I have 5 6 7 this here means that I can configure these pins as analog or digital so in order for me to configure this uh, output input, input output pins digital or analog I have to configure the register Ansel and Ansel H now Ansel refers to all the, out, uh, the pins from 0 to 7 so AN from 0 to AN7 so oh sorry uh, so here I have AN from 0 to 7 over here it goes here AN 0 AN 1 AN 2 AN 3 AN 4 over here AN 5 AN 6 AN 7 so when I put Ansel 0 it means that all these pins over here that I just mentioned are configured as digital now if I want this here AN 8 AN 9 AN 10 AN 12 AN 11 AN 13 so these are the pins that can be configured uh, or as an analog or digital then I have to put answer uh, I have to write Ansel H is equal to zero so this here configures all these pins over here to analog or digital so if I put zero and zero all of these pins are now digital if I want a particular one to be uh, analog then I have to write the specific code for it but in this video uh, I'm not gonna do it I don't have any analog modules over here now let's see the code void main uh, open and uh, close bracket over here it's just the beginning of the program in C language and it is followed by a curly bracket so that's uh, basically it uh, I'm gonna write this code in the description of my video okay so here I can write the comment over here Con uh, uh, pins configured as digital and also here pins configured as digital so there are 14 pins that you can configure them as an analog or a digital input output pin now trisb try sb 0x00 means that all these registers over here are going to be configured as an output if i want them uh, if i want them to be configured as uh, inputs then i just write 0xff so all of this would be uh, configured as outputs uh, inputs but if i want them if i want any particular pin to configure them as an input then i have to write one to that particular pin but i'm gonna show that a little bit later or in my next video so this is basically configuring registers b c and d as an output now here i have a loop program loop that is gonna this is an endless loop so if I want my program to run I don't know forever then I write while and in brackets uh, put uh, number one then I have a curly bracket over here now let's see here port B port C and port D what does that what are those uh, what does that mean uh, it means that you can uh, program uh, these outputs over here register outputs uh, in a way that you want so if I want this to be a logical high or uh, 
or logical zero, then I have to put a particular, uh, I have to specify that in the program. So if I want now to port, if I want now for port B to be uh, all input high, then I have to write port uh, B is equal to zero X F F. Why, uh, if, why is that? Because here, if you look at the numbers, logical one means it is gonna be high. So decimal number 255 is binary equal to 11181 one, 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 and hexadecimal it means FF. Oh, sorry. So if I want port B to be all logic ones, then I have to put all ones over there. Or I can write 255 or I can write binary eight ones. Now port C in this particular moment, I want to be all uh, on logic low. So I just write port Z is equal to zero or zero X X. So this X means it is hexadecimal and port D is also uh, at logic uh, all port, all outputs on the port D are logic low. So, and I have a delay of one second. Here you have delay MS. So these are in milliseconds. So if you want one second, then you have to write 1000. And all of this uh, have to be end with a semicolon. Now, after one second, I have port C that is configured as uh, are, that are configured as logical high and port B and port D are logical zero. I have a delay of 1000, uh, one second or 1000 milliseconds. And then I have port D is equal to log, uh, all the output on port D are gonna be ones and port C and port B. So it is uh, really, uh, you have to know how you can write uh, this code. So this is decimal. For decimal, you don't have to know, uh, do nothing. If you want to write it in binary, first you have to write one zero, then small letter B and write the binary configuration. And if you want a hexadecimal, you have to write zero, zero over here, then small letter X and then a hexadecimal number. And delay M S here, delay down line, underline over here, small M S and 1000. This is delay of one second and this is an endless loop over here and This is the program over here. I'm gonna kill it or build over here and The compiler is gonna uh, build the program and when I go to the Proteus I can just double click over here where you saved it. It doesn't matter and click OK and here the program is gonna start doing what you told them to do. So here I have flashing LEDs. So this is basically from the beginning of the video. Okay, now let's say that you want uh, only the RB0 from register uh, B to flash and all others to be uh, on the logical zero. So zero volts on the output. What do you have to do? Well, let's go to the program over here. We had at the beginning that port B is equal to all ones. So 0xff, that means all everything is gonna be logic high. But if I write only 0x01, that means that, uh, sorry, let's see over here. So that is hexadecimal one. So only the last, uh, the first pin, is gonna have one and every uh, every else over here has zero. So in that particular situation, only the pin RB0 is gonna flash and all others over here are gonna be zero. So if you bring a partic a zero to uh, a pin, it, it, uh, and if it is configured as an output, then uh, there is gonna be zero volts over here so, and these LEDs are not gonna flash so let's build the program over here go to the program and let's see what happens oh sorry so as you can see here uh, I'm just gonna pause it when 
as you can see only the pin uh, RV0 is on logical high and the rest are on uh, over here are on logical zero so uh, basically that's enough for this video uh, it's a I don't want to make this a long video and uh, tr try and do uh, try and uh, practice yourself make something up so you know you don't you don't have to copy the exact program that I make uh, you can uh, make it yourself uh, you, you know play with the program and uh, that's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed it learned something and see you in my next video goodbye